Hi, I'm Naveed Ansari and in this video we're gonna talk about arrays in Unreal Engine 5. Why we should use it and how we can use them in different situations. So without any further ado, let's begin. So no, what is an array? Let me go to one of these blueprint classes to show you what is the array. So for example, in this BP light, that is just a blueprint class that has just a point light. In here, if we create a variable, it created by default as a single, okay? This icon in here, it called single, and it can store just a boolean for this case, right? And if we change it to float, it just can store just one float. And if we change it to text, it just can store one text, right? So, for example, if we go and change it to a string, it can store just one string, single string. But if we want to change the type of this new word that is a string to be a array of a string, we should click on it and go here in detail panel, click in here, this icon in here and choose array okay so no with this it can store multiple strings inside it right so let's just compile save and in here we can just give it some default value for example let's just give four of them by clicking on this plus four time and in here i want to say hi zero okay this is hi one this is hi two okay hi tree so it can store four string inside it and we can use it very easily so first of all let me show you how you can use it so for example let's just create a begin play in here okay and with this begin play what i want to do i want to get this array okay and with that i want to get an element off of this array if you click in here this high zero string in here it's called index zero that is element zero index one element one index two element two right so in here if we say get a reference or a copy if you get a reference and you change something inside it it will be changed in our variable in here as well but if you get the copy and change something inside it it won't be changed in the original variable so let's just get a copy of that and it will tell us which one of the elements or index you want to get so for example if we click on our variable in here if we say for example index number two put two in here it should give us a string hi2 right so if we in here use a print string and print this string what will happen every time that we play it will give us index number two that is element number two that is hi2 so now if you run our game you can see it says hi2 cool right so let me give you another example if i delete all of these i want to get this point light in here okay and i want to change the color of this point light the light color i want to change it at default it is green right so for changing that color we can just set color in here set light color for that right it again create this point light for us we don't need it so in here, if we connect it to here, we can choose a color, for example, blue, or we can just do it like this, blue, right? Now, if we compile and run our game, if we watch, you can see the light color is changed, right? So no, I want to create a arrays of a color and change this light color uh, every 0.1 second. So let's see how we can do that. In here, again, we want to create a variable. The type, we want it to be color, right? So choose a color and make sure that it is an array, right? By default, it is array now because we did choose array before and it will, uh, from now on, it will put it as array. And in here, I want to call it colors, okay? And again, we can just compile, save, and in here, create as much as we want, right? So let me create some, for example, red, for index zero green 
for index one, for index two, for example, blue. And let's just make some other one like this different type of color. So you can see I did create some type of color in here. And for getting those color, you know that we can get it like this. Okay. And after that, we can get a copy off of that. And for this number we want to use a random number right we can just use a random number in here because it is integer we can just use a random integer right and with this random integer it will tell us what is the max number if you click in here the max number it starts from 0 to 6 so it is 7 right so let's just put 7 in here and connect it to here so every time it will give us a random color and we can just connect it over here cool no everything is set up and what i want to do i want to connect it to event tick right to event tick let me and with this event tick what i want to do i want to use a delay of 0.1 second no if we compile and run our game you can see the color is changing every 0.1 second and it will get it from that array okay so next thing that i want to show you in here you can see we have some chair in here and we want to delete them after each other we can use arrays to do that if we go to our third person character in here, for example, whenever we hit N on our keyboard, we want to delete all of these chairs, right? So there is a function that is called get all actor of a class. And this time the class is BP chair. It's just blueprint class that has a static mesh inside it that it is a chair, right? So we can change this to BP chair okay so this node will give give us all of the chairs inside an array right that's why we are learning this array no first of all let's just see how we can delete one of them we can get one of them for example get the element zero and with that we can just destroy that actor right so no if we run our game you can see all the chairs are here if we hit n on our keyboard one of them is deleted or destroyed no we want to delete all of them how we can get all of them and destroy them or we can do it with this get we we are just getting one of them there is a node that is called for loop and we can use that for loop like this for loop and with this for loop we want to execute this for loop and if we have 20 chair this execution pin will happen 20 time and each time it will give us a one of the element of this array okay and with this array index you can find out which element you are getting we want to delete them right so we get the chair with the array array element first of all it will give us zero after that one two three four and uh, so on in here we want to destroy that right destroy the actor because we have 20 actor this for loop will happen this for loop loop body execution pin will happen 20 time and each time it will give us one of the chairs or one of the element and we can destroy that no let's just compile and save and run our game no if we hit n on our keyboard let's see what will happen all of the chairs are gone and and before deleting that, I want to show the name of this element. So let's just use a print a string in here. Okay. And for I want to get the name of this element, get display name of that and show it. Let's just again hit compile and run. And if we go here and if we hit N, you can see all of the chairs are deleting with each other and it show its name as well. So that was it about arrays in Unreal Engine 5. I hope you like this video. Please, if you have any question, just leave it in comments so I can create another video for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.